Hello kindergarten! Today in writing we're going to talk about how to use our dry erase markers. You should have all received one of these. You have a marker, a dry erase marker like this, and this is a special marker. It does not write on regular paper. It writes on a whiteboard. And if you don't have a whiteboard, you should have a piece of paper that's inside this plastic sleeve, like this. And I want you to use that as your whiteboard. Okay, so we're going to talk about what to do with our markers and how we use them. And since you don't have an eraser at home, you can use some things like a Kleenex is what I'm going to use. Or maybe you have an old sock, a clean one, an old sock that you could use as an eraser. And that's what you can do to erase. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is this marker. Sometimes they can be a little bit tricky to open and a little bit tricky to close. So let me show you a trick. When you want to open the marker, you're gonna take the lid and you're going to twist it and you're going to pull. See how I did that? And now it's open, but you don't want to lose the lid. So this lid actually fits right here on the end like this. And I'm just going to push it right there. And now I will not lose my lid. Now, I also want you to look at the marker. Do you see the tip of this marker? It is very pointy and nice and neat, see that? Now we have to try to keep it that way or otherwise we can't write with it anymore. So that means when you write with this marker, you don't wanna to push too hard. So you're going to hold your marker and you're going to write with it. Like let's say I wanted to write the word hi. Okay, see I'm not pushing very hard at all. You just push just a little bit and it will come on there. You cannot write with it like this. That's not how we write. If you tried to write like this, you would push the tip down. And if we push the tip down, it would break our marker. So you do not write like that, okay? This is how you're going to write. And when you are all done with your writing and you have to erase it, that's when you could take your eraser, whatever it may be, and you just erase it really quick. See, now it's all gone, okay? And when you're done with your marker, you also have to make sure you close your marker. So you take your lid off and you put it back on. And then look, you listen for the click, listen. Did you hear that? That means that your marker's closed. You can also tell it's closed because there's not a gap right there. See how they're touching? That is how you use your marker. So what I want you to do is get out a mark, your marker and your whiteboard and something to erase with. And I want you to draw a picture or practice writing your name and make sure that you're using your marker the right way, okay? Have fun, boys and girls.